Hello everybody, it is Fun Friday. So in this case, Ivan has something to do later on today, so we have to make this Fun Friday quick. And what I came up is an Iman. Now there were some things that Ivan did mention to me yesterday of what he wanted for the workout, and he did mention pull-ups and chin-ups. And those are two different types of movements for the upper back. Because a pull-up, you're out here, you're wide, and you're, you, you, you're still utilizing the bicep to pull yourself up. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders are stabilizing, but everything is all inside your back muscles, mm -hmm. and your core is going to be super tight because your body is more on a wider position when doing a pull-up. Mm -hmm. And it is more difficult because there is less range of motion especially when doing a strict bar like that. They call it in CrossFit, it's called strict pull-up. And I did do those when I was going to CrossFit. That was like back in 22. And yes, people were impressed that I could do a strict pull-up while other people were doing that butterfly pull-up, which I don't like, I think it's dumb. But in this case, Ivan's gonna use the rig and I'm going to use the rings. Ivan, he needs that strong foundation for the rig, for the pull-up, and for the chin-up. Everybody knows that a chin-up is your chin over the bar. While a pull-up, it is more difficult to get that chin to the bar. Mm -hmm. But the reason why they call it chin-ups is because you're using more biceps, mm -hmm. and you are literally have to be above the bar. Okay. That's the goal. And we're only doing 20, 20, I mean 12 minutes of this, right? Yes. And that so, should be it. So I should explain that too, is how the 12 minute Iman works. So Iman means every minute on minute. So what that means is that for the first workout, that's why I have one to five reps, if you can get it there, Yeah. right? So within the first minute, we have one minute to get one to five reps mm -hmm. for the pull up for that first minute and that's it. Yes. So you don't move on to the chin up in that minute. So the goal is that for minute one, this is round one, round one, minute one. For pull up, if you can get to five, that's good in one minute. Mm -hmm. And then you rest. Okay. And when the minute is over, you do a transition period. Okay. You go to chin ups, you set yourself up for chin ups. Mm -hmm. And the transition period time that I have is 50 seconds. Because when we go to the bag, it's going to take time to put on the, uh, these, the gloves. How this is going to work, Ivan, is the fact that one of us starts on the H bag and the other person starts on the rig. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So it depends on you. Do you want to start on doing the rig or the H bag? The rig. So you want to start on the rig, then I'll start on the H bag. Mm -hmm. I'll do my thirty seconds of striking. Yeah. I'll rest for the rest. I'll rest for thirty seconds, and then you will do your pull ups and your chin ups. Okay. And then in that meantime, because it's going to be bizarre. So uh, and how this works. So that means I'm doing the H bag twice. Okay. So every time that someone is on the rig, right here and somebody is here is that you have to do uh do it twice so times two and this one's just one time so yeah two times right mm -hmm. so basically if you start on the rig you have to get this all done okay so that first minute right mm -hmm. You so, okay, so this is five, 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 five? Yeah. Okay. It's still going to be five reps max. Okay. That's your goal. And then we wait for that transition period. But one thing that I want to ask is why is it one, four, seven, ten? Because it's counting the down this way. That's what I'm showing you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to end on the H bag at twelve. Okay. The reason why is because you have the first exercise, second exercise, third exercise. It's going down. So one person will be on the rig and one person is going to be on the bag. And then when we're done, 
when I'm done with the bag and you're done with these two, then we switch. You're gonna be on the bag two times. Okay. I'm gonna be on the rig two times. Okay. So now you can see which exercise are we doing at minute two? Chin up. So you're doing chin up, and then which exercise am I doing? Pull up. No. No, the, the striking. Yeah. Correct. Because we can't do, I can't do a pull up while you're doing a chin up. That we're conflicting with each other on the rig. Yeah. So that's how that's going to work. Uh, reset. Okay. That's about it. Now it's time to make it actually happen. Yeah. These are good bands. Maybe I should buy some more to make it stronger and it would actually be more easier for Ivan. But first I want to see what his raw strength is. The best possible technique that he can show. All right, there, you're in position. Yeah, right this. All right, get ready. Okay. When that timer starts. Okay. Only five reps, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I forgot. I was supposed to do it for 30 seconds. That's right. Woo. 50 seconds. for you. Keep going. strong and flat. How, like this? Yeah. There you go. And you can bend your knees into it. Like you're leaning forward. Alright, 
Transition to the pull up. Three, two, one, go. Go.
three. Last round. Get them in the legs. Always strike them with your feet. Feet versus feet. Combine your attacks. Combine your strikes. Don't just slap them, actually punch them. Do that as fast, as hard as you can. Okay. Faster, faster. Continuous. Yeah, get him on the body. More body strikes. All body strikes from here on out. Now you want to swing more. Swing more. Yeah, just like that. Reel your arms way back, like you're gonna charge, boom. Yes, more back. Swing those arms around. Swing your whole left arm around. Swing that whole left arm behind your head. Yeah, right there. Get that power and twist yourself into it. You're twisting your body, you know like we do the abs? You twist into it. Twist your upper body into it. There you go. Stop. We're done. Success. Yep, success. So we did it. Fun Friday was successful. The only thing that Ivan had a trouble on was the round number and the exercise he was supposed to do. So with the Imam, there's always a time period where you rest after a single exercise. And then you prep during that rest time for the next exercise and then it keeps the flow going yeah. so i did have to correct them in the first four exercises just about so like he did he was successful on dealing with the uh, rubber bands for himself for the pull-up and chin-up he did good on that i'm glad he got to his five reps that's what he could do and that's the range of motion he has and the strength that he has mm -hmm. so he proved it that's very good of him and for me, obviously, I was doing 30 seconds, and then I forgot I was doing 30 seconds, so I decided to just bump it up to a minute, and that was better. So it's okay to change things on the fly to adjust uh, the nature of the workout. So, like, obviously, you did pretty good for doing a minute. I was like, oh, maybe we should do 30 seconds because we did a minute yesterday. Mm -hmm. But as I was doing it myself that first round, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, 30 seconds is too short. The whole minute is better. Okay. But, so he did a lot better with keeping his feet to the ground. I did correct him at some point mm -hmm. to keep his feet on the ground when he punches. And he did. He did a good job on that. I want him to use more power by reeling back his arms. Mm -hmm. So you get more power when you twist. Mm -hmm. And then you go forward because mm -hmm. you're twisting your whole abdomen. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how we we're doing the bicycles. Mm -hmm. See how we're twisting? Yeah. It's the same thing when you're punching. Mm -hmm. So that's how that works. And you can practice shadow boxing at home. 
All you have to do is look up YouTube videos on shadow boxing and you can practice them yourself. I practiced a lot of stuff from fight tips and these guys who are my build. So that's why I like them because they had my body type and I was like, okay, What's so uh, fighttips.com. But yeah, this is what you need to do is research people who know how to exercise and who know how to fight as well. So that's important for health and fitness. Mentally prepares you, mentally prepares you, emotionally prepared, prepares you, spiritually prepares you, yeah. and all that. Your physical uh, aptitude increases. Yeah. But yeah, you did pretty good, Ivan. Well, how'd you feel about all of these? I felt pretty satisfied because it, it, I feel like it's like, like, you feel the pump right now. So, in my chest, it's like, like it doesn't hurt. You're using a lot of force into it, and then you were trying to bring yourself up. But you're going to on my chest, like, like. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Like, be crazy. It was a good workout. Mm -hmm. 12 minute EMOG. Two exercises had to be done in the first two rounds for Ivan. Just like I, I had to match him. How many reps total of these? Did oh, we do? this right here, that's 20. That's 20. So that's a total of 40 reps. So then 40 rep. Uh, I'll put it down as rig slash re. Didn't I put a five, 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 five? Yeah. No, you, you did the math wrong. Five, 10, 15, 20. Five, 10, 15, 20? Okay. Yeah, that's 40. Okay. So yeah, we did 40 reps of the rig and ring, right? So that was that, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. And the striking, a minute of striking. So that's a total of, that should be, uh, let's see. Uh, no, that should be a total of eight minutes of striking. So I did really well. So that was eight minute strike. But yeah, that's how that goes down. Yep. All right, everybody, that's it. Yep, tomorrow's May. The adventure comes tomorrow.